Tron. In June, you will decide by your votes. If you say yes, I will change those things which are narrow and outdated. If you say no, it is clear I will not remain in office much longer. So President de Gaulle announced his proposed referendum for France to choose herself between a Gaullist program of reform or his own resignation. It was the President's first pronouncement after more than a week of anarchy. No sooner had he spoken than a fresh wave of anarchy tore Paris apart. This violent reaction by students and workers expressed their utter dismay at de Gaulle's uninspired solution. One part of de Gaulle's speech they can't deny, the warning that France is on the brink of paralysis. But many people attribute the cause to the paralytic effect of ten years of de Gaulle domination. During those ten years, no man did more to unify his country, but his particular brand of paternalism has provoked a seething frustration. Many Frenchmen feel there's a somewhat fusty aroma in de Gaulle's regime. Many more recoil from the more immediate stink of refuse as it piles up in the strike-ridden streets. Ironically, it's not only civil disorder that may paralyze France, it could be the effects of inflation if the new wage demands are met. Many workers have already rejected proposed settlements between unions and government. So far, 10 million have been on strike. If all the country's labor force of 14 million were to achieve all their demands, the effect on France's economy could be crippling. And the firm line taken by Prime Minister Georges Pompidou, threatening tougher retaliation by riot police, hasn't exactly cooled the situation. In fact, security forces were ordered to open fire if Danny the Red, the outlawed student leader, attempted to re-enter the country from Germany. De Gaulle is certainly in a sticky situation. The economy likely to nosedive within a spiral of rising wages and prices, and the youth of the nation determined on a new deal, whatever the odds. said that de Gaulle may retire in any case. We can well understand his decision if he does.